Hey, what's up? Okay, so this first movement, see how you're you're tilting your torso forward? I want your torso straight up. All it is, it's knees forward. I'll just uh, show you kind of the video here. So look how straight the torso is, okay? So the shoulders are already behind the bar and the knees are forward. What this is gonna do, this is gonna take any forward movement out of the bar, and this is gonna allow the bar to go straight up and down, okay? This movement should happen at the knees. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be shoulders forward of the bar, okay? So that's that first position, okay? Uh, let's see here. All right, where's the video? So first position should be knees forward, torso completely vertical, okay? And there shouldn't be any forward movement of the bar, all right? If you do that movement right, the bar should go straight up, not forward at all, all right? Now when you're in these pauses, all right, I want you to spend a moment there and confirm that the weight is back, the weight's back and the chest is up, all right? So I wanna see a visual shift, just like that actually. So, see how you shift back. So when you're in these pauses, that's exactly what I want you to do. And then when you're pausing, you're gonna keep the weight on your heels throughout that entire range, okay? And then also, I had mentioned um, wrist position. All right, have you tried to have your wrists extended more? Look how straight they are, all right? So that straight wrist is gonna keep the bar forward. So um, as long as you don't have any pain or anything, really get used to catching the bar with an extended wrist. Because if you line up that bar, it's a little forward of the midfoot. By allowing the wrist to bend just a little bit, it's gonna put that bar right over the middle of the foot, okay? Because the only other way that you can get, actually you could see how the bar moves backwards, all right? That's coming from your shoulders when it should really just come from your wrist, all right? So when we're doing the overhead squats, be okay with extending your wrists. Um, I think it actually will help your receiving position a lot, okay? All right. Um, same is true with these as the snatch. It's just a little bit harder to get the knees forward without tilting the chest forward, okay? Make sure you're squeezing your glutes hard. All right, looks like you cut the extension short there. All right, so big hard extension, same thing here. All right, don't rush the pause, so get down there. Take that opportunity to shift the weight back and get the chest up. And the same, same with the paws off the floor, okay? Front squats, keep driving your knees up. Really think about going fast. All right, it's pretty straightforward. Those look pretty good. All right, these jerk recoveries. So first, don't jump into it. Notice how you bend the knees and then you get into it. All right, what that's promoting, that's promoting cutting the extension short. So you want to go from squeezing your glutes and your quads, a tall position, which is going to mimic the drive of the push press, right into the split, okay? Also, before you start, start pushing into the bar, all right? Watch what happens to your hands as you extend. Notice how they're very straight. And then once you start loading the body, then they go into their natural position. So. See this natural position with the wrist slightly extended? When you're here, when you're here, okay, push into the bar. That should be the receiving position. As you apply tension into the bar, you're going to press yourself under it. So you're gonna keep applying pressure to the bar and you're gonna wedge yourself down into the jerk, okay? Does that make sense? 
all right so we want tension in the bar the entire time not not just when you're ready to lift it up okay